just past the 8 km mark uh, for the 16k long run today. Want to use holding up pretty well, running at a slow pace. And yeah, just getting it done. Hey, my week one of block four done and dusted and my goodness I did not realize how much I was going to be running in this block. Started off on the Monday with a casual five kilometer recovery run after my 10k one to finish off the recovery week from last week. Tuesday was a bit full on having a strength session and then my six by one minute effort felt really good through those and was good to see that during those six minute efforts I was able to manage pretty much the exact same distance every time. So I think I was getting up to 270 meters uh, in a minute to at roughly 70 to 80% too. So it felt really good, really comfortable with that one. All of a sudden, Wednesday included a 14K moderate absorption run, which really did test me. Um, I've been getting up very early this last week to make sure I can fit in all my training and then also enough time to catch the train into work as well. Thursday was back into the gym for another strength session. Again, noticing my body is really getting or has really gotten a lot stronger over this year as well. So really starting to see me up the weights for some of my exercises too, which is really exciting. Friday was a 10K run and then included a final surge uh, for the final two kilometers. So I had two minutes of surges happening for that final bit. Uh, so I think I got up to three or four surges um, to finish off those final two kilometers and felt really strong in that one. And was probably the best run for me this week in terms of just feeling uh, in a good place, felt really strong throughout that run and felt like I had so much more in the tank to give to. Then finished off this weekend with my 16K long run and really forced myself to slow down for this one. And I think I averaged just over six minutes a kilometer too. So a big achievement was actually seeing my heart rate, I believe stay under 150 beats per minute too. So I really wanted to concentrate on building that aerobic endurance. And I think for this block in particular, knowing that I've got a lot of running ahead of me is to really focus in on slowing right down for those long runs and being being out and about it for as long as possible just to really build that endurance as we get into Alice Springs for the 30 kilometers where I'll be out for two, three hours. I must admit I'm more tired than any, anything after this week. While the body is holding up well, my shins are feeling okay at the moment. Like obviously it hasn't gotten any worse or but it also hasn't got any better. Um, I think the biggest one is just getting up ridiculously early to fit in all this training too, because I think after an hour train trip to work, full day of work and then an hour train trip back, the last thing I want to be doing is any form of training or even just switching on the TV, it feels like too. So I'm glad to have just stuck to it. And I know that it's going to be a pretty brutal four weeks to continue, but knowing that this is part of the journey and really just happy to be out there running a lot more on this block too. So I feel like that's one payoff for it to being able to just get out and, and run. I've really been enjoying it. Pretty similar week next week with uh, 18Ks for my long run too. And uh, I think Hills is my quality session. So very similar, looking forward to just getting out there and getting it done and ticking off uh, another week as we get into block four. Thank you all for checking out my video. I will also might not be doing a video next week, but I will be taking over the Indigenous Marathon Foundation Instagram page too. So tune in there. I'll leave a little at uh, to that tag as well as a link in the description to the IMF's page as well that I'll be taking over next Sunday. So tune in for that one as I prepare for my 18K long run. Catch up.